Okay, so I might have underestimated how heavy this thing is. Okay, let's bring this over here. Bloop. Okay, maybe this table's not gonna work. Ta-da, we have space. Before I go any further with this video, I just want to state that I am by no means a PC pro. So if I mispronounce anything in this video, please feel free to correct me. I built my PC based off of copious amounts of research, guys, and I mean copious amounts of research. The main goal of this build was to build a PC that would do what I needed to and last as long as possible with little to no upgrades. Also, I just want to state that I filmed this entire sequence on my smartphone. So I tried to use tripods as much as possible, but I apologize in advance for the quality and some shakiness. With that being said, let's get back to it. So for those of you that follow my Facebook page, you will know that my old PC blew up a little over a month ago while I was uploading a new video. So basically, I didn't back up any of my videos. I didn't back up any of my audio files. I didn't back up anything. It sucks, but lesson learned. So basically, I went and custom built a PC from the ground up on iBuyPower's website. I had been eyeballing one of their computers in store that was pre-built. I didn't want to get a pre-built PC though. So I went on their website and built one from the ground up. All right, so this box is taking up the majority of the frame. I apologize for the weird, wacky camera angle that we are at, but uh, yeah, this is a gigantic box. This box is huge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and let's see what we got inside. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> kind of smells like cherries in this box. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Woo, woo. We got some loose things in this box as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out first just cause they're kind of getting in the way of me pulling the regular box out. We've got the iBuyPower uh, gaming keyboard. So I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. We have an iBuyPower gaming mouse. I also have a mouse already. So I'm gonna put that off to the side as well. I think that's about it. So let's get to the main course, I guess. If I can freaking figure out how to get the box out of here. Oh, sh All right, well, I nearly blew up my kitchen light trying to get this thing out of the box, but hey, there's the box to the actual computer and it is looking pretty sexy, if I uh, say so myself. So let's get into cracking this bad boy open right now. <sighs> Still got some weight to it though. I'm gonna slip that bad boy off of there like so, boom. That was not that hard at all. Let's get these foam pieces off the side of the computer. And I actually think I opened my PC face down. So let's uh, flip that right back up. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this glass panel and show you guys the guts what I uh, powered this computer with. So let's uh, let's do that. Okay, so there's our PC all opened up. I took the clothes off of it so you can see its bits. For the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. More is like an aesthetic decision. It looks nice. It'll light up RGB, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. So moving on from our motherboard, we've got the processor, which is Intel i7 9700K. And then cooling that, we've got the Corsair H60 liquid cooler. From that, we've got our GPU, which is the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super. So story time. I actually was expecting a different graphics card. The graphics card I thought I was getting was the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super Founders Edition. When I opened up the PC, I saw it was the EVGA version and, and it was a little bit of a surprise to me. So I'm not sure what happened with that. It doesn't have any sort of RGB lights or any sort of LED lighting. That's a little bit of a bummer, but it's not too big of a deal. But let's move on. I don't want to keep going on about that. 
But next up, we've got our RAM. You can see our two RAM cards right here. We got one right there and then one right there. So each stick has eight gigabytes. So we've got a total of 16 gigs DDR4 3200 speed. These are actually kind of a surprise to me. I didn't expect to get RAM cards this nice. I was expecting just your like standard RAM card with no shell, no casing, nothing. They actually gave me the G Scale Ripjaw V. So that was kind of a surprise to me. I'm not gonna lie. So that's, that's definitely cool. When I ordered this PC, the next day I noticed that they had a deal going on, free RGB RAM with the purchase of computer. So I called up iBuyPower and I was like, uh, yeah, can you guys swap that deal over and give me the RGB RAM? Cause you know, I'm all about unicorn puke. They basically told me no. And the reason being is that if I did that, I'd have to pay out of pocket. They can't swap the deals over. It would put my PC on back order, which means I'd, I'd be waiting another month just to add RGB RAM into my PC. So I was like, F that. I'm gonna go buy my own, which I actually did. I'm gonna be taking out the, uh, the G-Scale Ripjaw Vs and I might be doing a giveaway on this. So stay tuned. So for the RGB RAM that I'm gonna be throwing in this PC, I went with the XPG Spectrix D60G. The reason I went with this is because the actual surface area on the RAM card itself for RGB is over 60%. And if you were listening before, I said I like my unicorn puke. So why would I not go with this? As you can see from the cover, it's got a diamond cut design, but let's go ahead and open that up and I'll show you what it looks like in real life with the naked eye. Okay, so there they are, and you can see in the light, it does have that diamond cut design, which is very sexy. Stop chirping. All right, so the new RAM cards are all installed. Let's go ahead and switch on the power supply. Let's see what happens. Why is it not turning on? What's going on? You know, it'd help if I'd actually power on the computer. And there we go. So you can see our four RGB fans and there's the RAM cards. Those are freaking nice. I'm loving it. If you guys want a chance to win the G-Scale Rip Jaws RAM cards, then all you have to do is like this video, comment below, and then head on over to my page and smack that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll be announcing the winner at 150 subscribers, so make sure you check in periodically to see if you won. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the back panel off uh, just to take a look at my power supply unit, see what they gave me. That is it right there. I can't get to it at all without unscrewing it. Over here, we've got my SSD up top, which is an ADATA one terabyte. On the bottom, we've got my HDD. You can't really see it but that's one terabyte as well. I'm gonna be switching that out for an SSD sometime in the future. And then we've just got the cable management all in the back and uh, yeah, that's a mess. All right, so I got the PC all moved over and wired up. The only thing left to do is to remove the protective film. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. One last thing to remove and it's a little caution sticker just telling us that we've got tampered glass. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that if it'll come off without leaving remnants behind on my new PC. Give me one moment. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. Yes. It left a little smudge behind. That's fine though. All right, so everything is set and ready to go. So let's power on in three, two, one. Let there be light. Let there be light. I think I didn't wire something right. You know, it would help if I actually plugged in the power supply. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. She's looking pretty sexy. And then we've got light all around. Everything's plugged in and uh, glowing. All right, so here it is all set up. I've got the fans set to digital wave at their highest speed. So it kind of looks like they're chasing each other, which is a pretty damn cool effect, if you ask me. I did that just for the sake of the video. I'm actually going to be changing that orange to match my Star Wars canvases that are in the living room and my carpet. That won't be staying that way. Even though it does look nice with my desk, I'll probably be changing all these 
an orange tone or like sunset tones just to match the theme that I got going on in this in this room. So overall, yeah, it looks freaking nice. Um, definitely very sexy. Got a very clean uh, clean look to it. Back here, you got my, uh, my my cable management, and you know, kind of looks like spaghetti, but I'm Italian, guys, so uh, it's in my blood. I uh, I apologize. But yeah, there we go. Mm. All right, guys, so it's been one week since the PC has arrived and I set it up. And I guess the one real question at this point is, was it worth it? And so what I would answer you guys back with is hell yes. So far, it's handled everything I've thrown at it flawlessly. I was able to run Jedi Fallen Order at all the highest graphic settings and it didn't lag or falter in any way. Now, even though that game isn't the most graphically impressive game, this PC still makes it look pretty good and it runs like butter. I was also able to play Minecraft with RTX settings on and that game looked amazing. I had no issues at all while playing that as well. I'll actually have another video coming out just about Minecraft with RTX on. So stay tuned for that one. All right, so that's gonna be about it for the video. If you guys like this video and wanna see more like it, then don't hesitate to smack that like button and head on over to my channel and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever any new videos come out as well. With that being said, I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a nap now. Y'all have a good one. Seriously, how do I even get to that thing? Come on!